Libra, hello, hello, and welcome to your weekly reading. Libra, this is a general reading intended for April the 24th or whenever you are drawn to this message. Okay, we're going to grab a couple of overall oracles, then we'll take a look at the tarot and finish it off with a mystical wisdom oracle okay you got gifts from god we angels bring you gifts from your creator open your arms and receive okay that sounds nice so be a time of receiving blessings bright ideas we're going to dive into the wisdom of the oracle and i will be reading the passage out of this I hope you are doing well, Libra. Let me know down in the comments below how this reading pertains to you. Peace, number 23. I'm going to hold this up a little bit so you get a better look at it. Okay. That is a beautiful energy. Kind of get like a cosmic egg type feeling of just being protected. All right, let me read that out of the booklet. The Oracle message is, it doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled, freedom from want, and the soul's, satisf and the soul's satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance, Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. So enjoy it, Libra. All right, let's look at the tarot. Totally forgot that I have to get my clarifiers out of here. Okay. There we go. Put these back over there. Just doing a little shuffling around here. All right, now we're ready to dive in. Let's get the past energies, please, for Libra, so we can get a better understanding of the history of the situation. Libra, please remember this is a general reading, so if for some reason it just does not resonate with you, check out your other placements as I do read for all 12 zodiac signs. Okay, you've got the chariot. Okay. And the page of wands with the queen of wands. So moving towards a passion. Seeing some growth, personal growth. Okay, let's dive in and see a bit more about this chariot, because that's our major. So let's see. Tell me more about this chariot. For Libra. The death card. So there must have been some kind of shift or change or redirection is what I'm being told. Okay, page of wands. This is planning. Beginning of some growth on a new adventure. Okay. I'm liking it so far, Libra. Whoa, too many, but we will take the uh, Knight of Wands. Lots of Wands energy here, so definitely a new passionate start. And this is the Knight takes actions. The page kind of brings the message and ponders about it, learns about it, but the Knight is the action and 
queen. The queen is the next step up. So this is mastering your skill. Let's look at this queen of wands. Oh, and you got the seven of pentacles. This is dedication and work into a passionate adventure. Okay, very nice. So you've been diligently working towards your passion or towards someone passionate. Let's look at the current energies for you, Libra. A hermit. Hmm. Wisdom. Also, the hermit has his rod, his staff. So he is seeking wisdom and insight. And he's lived a bit of a lifetime full of experiences met a lot of different type of people but it looks like you're keeping to yourself at this current time probably because you are very focused on work okay um you could be learning something because the hermit is very wise you're waiting on something or just enjoying this time to do what it is that you enjoy to that you enjoy doing. Okay, so team, let's look at the hermit. That's too many. And the twins. Okay, so you got the two of cups and the page of wands. The page of wands is over here. So this could be concerning a love situation or if it's not love, it's a partnership. It could even be siblings as well because the twins here. So um, you'll know how this pertains to you and your specific situation. The hanged man. Let's get a better look at this. Oh, the ten of swords. Okay. It does look like you're waiting for this cycle to end and a new one to begin. It does look like that it that you had come through something quite painful. All right, let's go ahead and look at the advice from spirit for Libra. Advice, please, Sultine. Hearing loosen up. Oh, loosen up. Huh. Okay. And there it is. The fool. Loosen up. <laughs> Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Take the leap. This is a leap towards a new beginning. Take the leap, Libra. All right, let's get one more out for Libra's advice, and then we'll go ahead and clarify these and dive in a little deeper. Advice, please, Sultan. Thank you. Okay. You got the Page of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So it does look like accept, accepting an offer. So um, Spirit's asking you to have fun. Go out. Celebrate with friends a little bit. Really consider accepting offers that come in to go out and meet new people. Okay, the fool. 
or it could just be an invitation to a family gather- gathering. Just whatever it is, the fool is asking you to have fun, enjoy yourself. Oh, the the um the magician is here. So yeah, create your happy life. Take action on that. You have all the tools. You should be confident. Page of Cups. Magicians are very confident in their ability to create what it is that they desire from the tools that Spirit has given them or that is available to them. Page of, page of Cups. The Seven of Cups. This is dreaming. This is happy surprises as well. This is also more than one project, so um, I'm seeing this as expansion, expanding your social life, okay, uh, the Nine of Cups. This one, the Hermit, the Hermit came out. Yeah, um, it's time to get out of the house for a little bit there, um, Libra. All right, let's go ahead and move forward to the uh, probable outcome if Libra follows this advice. The, the reason why I'm feeling like it's a wise choice to get out and socialize is because that's going to help your business ventures. Okay, you got the two of wands planning, yeah. Looking for a way to get out of the confinement of the box. Looking to expand. So this is the planning phase of that. Thinking about it. Okay. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is hard work and diligence that pays off, though, because it's the journey and the battle was not easy. But with the Nine of Wands, um, you've come through this or you will be coming through this with more wisdom and confidence. All right, so let's look at the Two of Wands. Looking for a different way to doing things. Five of Cups and Queen of Swords. Something that's more authentic to you. This is like picking up the pieces and moving forward. And doing what's right for you. Okay, the Nine of Wands. Let's look at this. Looking just a little bit tired to me. This is the chariot. This is movement forward. This is divinely guided movement. Okay, this is leaving the old ways behind. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up with a mystical wisdom. And I'll be reading the passage out of the booklet for you, Libra. This one. Okay, knowledge. Oh, that goes so well with the hermit. Okay. I'm going to hold it up so you get a better look at it. Okay. You can see they're on a journey. And it has different levels to it, I see. Okay, learning a bit of history. 
just says seek knowledge. Let me look out of the book. Knowledge is the most powerful tool that you can use to bring about change for yourself and to the world around you. Building knowledge is an ongoing process with results that will last you a lifetime. No one can take this away from you. Knowledge is the foundation that can provide you with opportunities of fulfillment and freedom to choose your life's path. It will bring about confidence and clarity. So follow your path with enthusiasm and focus. And here's your mantra, Libra. Knowledge brightens my horizons for the future. All right, Libra, many blessings. I'll see you back here next week for your monthly reading. Bye-bye.